Can you imagine? Yes. yes. I was just about to say, he's got to make two. I mean, all the styles of the Filipino players and the other imports, huh? But he's got a deadly southpaw jump shot. That's for sure. Six long to go. First quarter in Monte Vico. Oh, rejected by Lester. And that certainly brought the house down. <laughs> this guy can jump, I jump. He's certainly sort in the air like he had a couple of turbo props. <laughs> 12 tennis to count. Two-point lead for Shell. Great pace on the offensive. A very obvious foul by Bernie Fabiosa yeah. on Willie Pearson. Oh, Bernard came oh, in oh, for oh. Leo Austria. It was actually Bugs and Hernando, correction. Pearson goes to the line for a pair of charities that could equalize the count anew with five minutes and 52 seconds left in the first quarter. You know, Lester Rojo really lost a tooth, huh? A tooth or a cap, I don't know what it is, but he's looking for it. And uh, he feels very uncomfortable now. All I want for my oh. for Christmas is my two front teeth. That's what he's going to be singing from here on in. And Lester is given some relief. Uh, Hubina will be playing in his stead as he continues to search the floor for his missing tooth. <laughs> no, no, he did do swan, Joe. He did do swan. All right. Twelve ball is the count. <laughs> well, we're not laughing at the misery of uh, Lester Rowe. 5.43 left in the first quarter. Adornado gets his first basket. Yes, and we've got two all Filipino quintets now on the court. Though. Well, this uh, five for Shell is a strong lineup too. Uh, like, just like the Great Taste uh, Coffee lineup. The only thing is that they've got a the rookie in Hubinal. Ray Lazaro once again hitting the deck and is very unhappy about the absence of any calls. Well, no harm, no foul. He was actually not in the scene of the action that time. 14 all is the count. Bogs at Hernando with a penetration. Bogs, in the absence of any picks give, being given him by his teammates, is deciding to take matters into his own hands. Right down the middle, Ricky Brown, good pass to Manny Victorino. Every time Joe Ricky Brown leads that uh, fast break attempt for greatest, it's almost a short two points. Not necessarily from him, but he'll find the open man cutting into the basket. You bet, he's got a great passing hand as well as a shooting arm. Ray Lazaro, under goal against a swarm of defenders. There he goes again, watch Ricky Brown, there he finds Manny. Philip Cesar with a show on Manny. First personal for Philip. Oh, the way Cesar. Rick Brown ran that, there it is. He'll look to the left but give the pass to Manny Victorino on the right side. Huh? In the meantime, Manny Victorino is already on the stripe, ready for his two charities. The score, 16-14, great taste up by two. And Ray Lazaro has just checked out. Uh -huh. Romy Ang has come in for him. Romy Ang, one of the prize rookies of Freddie Webb. Wasn't he MVP in the NCAA at one time? Yes, he won that uh, award once. And Samboy Lim, also playing for Latran then, won it the following year. So we've got three injured players still for the Shell team. That's Lazaro, uh, rather Cristobal. We've got Cabatu and Dennis Abatuan. Philip Cesar found nobody home inside the paint. Certainly took advantage of the opportunity. And now it's a one-point game on you, 17-16. Contact whistle oh. on the other side of the floor. Hubinal picking up his first foul. The barrel-chested Chito Lisaga will be unbounding from the left sideline. Here's Ricky Brown. This time he'll have to cope with Bernie Fabiosa. He puts up a looper right into the hands of Abbe King. Loizaga. That's a foul on Hubinal again. Well, the great day oh, Sunday makers oh, showing yeah. a lot of hustle off the offensive board tonight. Uh, they're keenly aware of the absence of an import and they know that they have to put in double effort. That's yeah. right, John. That's what usually happens when your import's not around. That's when you try your best and that's exactly what's happening to great days now. 16 fouls by Shell. Great days with only one. Four minutes, 11 seconds remaining in this first quarter. Well, whether Lester Rowe has found his tooth or not, <laughs> he's back in the game, that's for sure. Manny Victorino bombed out on his first charity, redeems himself for the second, and it's a three-point lead anew for great pace. 1916, four minutes and eight seconds left, first quarter, as Bernie Fabiosa takes over the band leader's chores for the blue shirts of Shellas Adrin. Bad pass. Here is Ricky Brown. It's three-on-one situation. It's going to be a piece of cake for Lester Pearson. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> Willie Pearson. <laughs> Willie Pearson, Joe. And you know, in the last three plays of Great Taste Coffee, Ricky Brown has assisted three times. Three straight assists by Ricky Brown. 
There is a gentleman named Lester Pearson. I just can't remember where I ran into it. Good hook pass by Philip Cesar to Lester. Oh, traveling. Traveling by Lester Rowe inside the paint. What's happening is that he's having a difficult time now because Great Taste Coffee is really clogging the lane and double teaming him inside. Great Taste knows that the import of uh, Shell Rowe is playing the inside now. So that's the reason for that, Joe. Earlier, Waki, you gave his height at six feet four and a half. I doubt that very highly. Anyway, let's watch this fast break in the making by Shell. Bozer Hernando saves it from going off the floor. Pearson and Fabiosa diving for the ball at the same time, and it's going to be great taste's possession. Well, what's happening to the Shell team now? They're overpassing, Joe. First, it was uh, earlier, rather, Fabiosa to Philip Cesar, ball go going out of bounds. This time, Fabiosa oh, to Adonado, then Adonado giving the ball back. Ricky Brown didn't have the shooter's bounce that time. Bernie Fabiosa almost losing it to Ricky Brown, uh, who came into contact, and that's Ricky's first personal. Oh. Brown. Likewise, the second team foul for Great Days against six for Shell, and we've got a timeout by Baby the Loop, and we shall return. Going up, getting high, when there's action, when there's fun, going great, when you're crossy on, going great, crossy, go, go, crossy, go, go, crossy, reaching out, hanging on, when there's action, when there's Shoes from Rubber World. Barry Moy, Tablet and Luna, Sa Almorana. As Pingoy Pengson would love to say, hello there. <laughs> Too bad they can't say hello right back. I see. Uh, actually, that's uh, the wife of uh, Philip Cesar, the one on the left side, John. Oh, that's April. Yes, that is April. Oh, the lovely April Cesar is on hand to witness her husband play. And man, is he playing tonight. But they're still down by five. 21-16 with two minutes and 50 seconds left in the first quarter. The pump fake by Bogs and Hernando. <laughs> Hope, line, and sinker bitten by Willie Pearson. So Great Taste lead has been trimmed down to three. 2.38 remaining in the ball game. Money Victorino dancing inside the paint. Uh, here's Ricky Brown going to position. He finds Pearson. He had a better percentage shot. That's what makes Ricky Brown such a valuable player, Joe. You noticed he went inside, then there were two or three shell bag passes that went to him. So that left Pearson open for the inside shot. Bernie Fabiosa misses from 15. Willie Pearson loses it to oh. Romy Ang, but Willie Pearson gets it right back. Yes. On and a tap by Rick Brown, John. That's right. Rick Brown is all over the place. Loisanga taps it over to Ricky. He takes it from 18. Bullseye. And you know, this Ricky Brown, huh? he, he looks to assist first uh, to, his, uh, to his teammates running down court. Now, he only takes an attempt when there's nobody else to pass and when he's open or if two points is really needed joe that's right Bernie fabiosa has been missing with his long tongues uh, willie pearson quickly downtown for the coffee makers beautiful ball movement by great taste but uh, that last pass by Manny victorino nearly cost them the basket willie pearson misses 25 18 seven point lead for great taste Bernie fabiosa continues what was a very unfluid motion well uh, folks another could have still Gotten that ball, Joe. He just <laughs> watched it go to the sideline. Mental lapse on the part of Bugs. Uh, follow up by Abby King. Draws a foul. Oh. Time left, a minute and 22. Oh. Romeo acknowledges his first personal. And Leo Austria reports right back into the game. And who did he replace? He, Bernie Fabiosa sitting on the bench now, Joe. Abby King. Only the first point tonight for Abi. Well, he's got his hands full coping with Lester Rowe, the brand new import of the Shell as a Dream Buckbusters. They were not unhappy with Howard Carter. It's just that he oh. was not producing the kind of performance that was needed by their team. Definitely, John. They were not at all unhappy with uh, Carter. As a matter of fact, Carter, if you ask me, was probably the best import in this third conference. But you know, he wasn't really that tall an import, and they didn't need someone from the outside because they had Boggs and another there shooting from the outside anyway. They, they needed, needed an inside operator. Correct. And Lester Rowe is probably just what the doctor ordered in the same way that that basket was probably just what the doctor ordered to keep Great Taste's lead up by two digits now, 
you know, don't be surprised, Joe, if Great Taste, even without an import, should win tonight's game. Because remember, Shell, they're playing with Lester Rowe. Who's very Rowe. 